We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the New York Yankees and the Oakland A's. So the Bronx Bombers are looking to collect their eighth win in a row next. Jesus Lozardo, a left-handed Floridian, will get the starting assignment. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, it's hard to have all four of your pitches on, but I think if this guy can have two or three of his four pitches and have command of them, he's going to have a really good game. Here's the second baseman, D.J. LeMayhew. He'll get us started in this one Tonight under the lights. The, the second baseman. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. And Dan Dero, this Oakland ball club entering play here tonight. They came out on the losing end last time out and are in a bit of a skid. In fact, they've lost seven of their last ten. Yeah, Maddie, they lost last game only by one run. Those are the tough ones. But I'm sure they've looked at the film, made a few adjustments, and let's see if they can give a better effort today. The 1-1 one, one home. Hit down the third baseline, but a foul ball. One and two the count now. Boy, and it's a good night for the old hot chocolate here. 46 degrees at game time. The one two. There's a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Boy, there's nothing like seeing a good power pitcher that has a good fastball. And what does he do? He just throws this good fastball right by, brings the express. No chance to put that ball in play. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. No balls and a strike to count. He enters play here at 288, still without a home run and four RBIs. A lot of movement that time. It's 0-2. Time for a look at the umpires working this one. Behind the plate is Daryl Parker. Hey, not a very big strike zone, but a strike zone that kind of moves around a little bit too much for my liking. Yeah, Dan, I know there's not a clear scouting report with Daryl. I'll tell you what, you're going to know in the first two innings where he's going to be. The next 0-2. Is swung on and missed strike three. My man on the mound has just got great strikeout stuff working for him these days. Looking back at his last start, he racked up nine K's. And now he's looking like he could put up similar numbers in this one. Giancarlo Stanton now. As he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. A ball and a strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. Weak grounder back to the mound. Rwanda Olsen will take care of him at first, and that ends the inning. So the Yanks go one, two, three. Yankees nothing. A's coming to bat. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Jonathan Loisega, the Nicaraguan born pitcher, gets the call to start in this one. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, Matty V, this ought to be exciting. This is one of the top young pitchers in the game right now. He keeps getting better. He keeps learning. And if he continues at this pace, this guy has a chance to be one of the more reliable Your pitchers in the game. Please. Aaron Judge is into the ball game now as he'll take over out in left field. Number 99. So stepping in, Ramon Laureano. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The athletic, the center fielder. Pitch on the way. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. 
Japan as the Yankees get started here tonight, guys. Fortune has been smiling on them recently. They're unbeaten in their last seven games. You know, Matty, the season's such a grind, and you fight so hard day in, day out, and you're playing against the best players in the world, so you know you're going to lose some games coming out of spring training. To get on a roll where you win seven in a row, a week of everything coming together, that's a special feeling. 1-1. Uh, There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Back on it is the left fielder. And that one is gone! So it's a solo home run to lead off the bottom of the first. Second home run early in the year, and they've taken a one-run lead. Yeah, we always talk about how important it is to spot your starter or runner two early in the game, and he does just that. Blasting a no-doubt bomb that serves notice. They're going to be swinging with the wood here. No better way to get the home crowd into it right out of the gates. Stepping in now, the speedy Tony Kemp. As he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. And he's looking to get it going. Off to a bit of a slow start this year. Now the 1-0. This is line to left. Judge is there, and he makes the catch for the out. That is good. Not good, stop. Mark it. Jimmy A. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And up next, a Berkeley area native, Marcus Simeon. First pitch coming. Here it is. Ball, that's it. Now the 1 0. Hey. Oh, that's off the plate. Ball two. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Now the 2-1. Oh, that's good. This is where you cash your checks right here. 3-1. You're one of the best hitters in the game. You live for situations like this. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Hey! Let's get it going, boys. Somebody's loose, hitting 98 with ease in the first inning. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. This inning didn't get started the way he'd hope with that home run, but I've got to give him credit for flushing it and coming back here to get strikeouts on the last two guys. He's acting like it didn't even happen before. And that'll bring up Matt Olson as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1-0. Two balls and no strikes. Two and one to the A's first baseman. Hey, boys, you talking about getting your A swing off right here? That's what it looks like. A guy with massive power letting it eat. Change up. Call to strike, and he comes back even at two and two. A hey, nice job of bouncing back after the leadoff homer. Two quick outs after the bomb, and he's got a chance to get out of this. Fouled away. Ready with another 2-2. Two -two. 
Well hit. Deep down the right field line. Mm, definitely had the distance, but it winds up a foul ball. He got the fastball where he wanted and just pulled off of it. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. Hey, this guy's a hard guy to put away. He's fouling off some tough pitches. 2-2 two -two count, and he just seems to keep hanging right in there. Now a changeup just off the plate as that misses for ball four. Batting fifth, the designated hitter. Now at the plate, Mark Hanna, and he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. First offering on its way. One thing I'm going to keep my eye on with this young starter on the mound is how he's able to stay ahead of hitters. It makes pitching at this level a lot easier. And when you're trying to establish yourself in the big leagues, you're going to have a much better time doing that if you attack hitters from the get-go. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. Ball one. And he lays off for ball one. Loizaga has become known as a guy that's tough to take deep. So many starting pitchers find themselves snake bitten by the gopher ball, but he really limits that. In the air to straightaway right. Judge is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. But the A's hit the board first on this solo home run. We'll head to the top of the second, and Oakland has claimed the early 1-0 lead. That'll bring in Giovanni Urshela. He'll get us started in the top of the second. Gio Urshela. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. In there, no balls and a strike. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. Swing, high drive, left field and deep. Davis going back to the track, but he can't get it as it's off the wall. And he will pull into second with a leadoff double. This thing stays in the park, but let me tell you something. He absolutely crushed this thing. This park right. is no bandbox. It takes a lot to get one out of here, and he almost does it. It carried a long time and hit it halfway up the wall for a long double. Here's Brett Gardner now. As he'll watch one miss down and in for a ball, 1-0. and oh. He's ready for his first at-bat of this early season contest. One oh home. Yeah, I think it's pretty clear they don't want to challenge this guy right here, but working around a guy can come back to bite you at times. Here's the two and oh pitch to Gardner. Swing and a miss, strike two. Change up, cold strike three as he rolls his eyes at the call, one away. Well, that call looked like it was a little in the pitcher's favor, but it wasn't outrageous. Hey, listen. Calling balls and strikes is a really tough job, and even the best are going to miss some from time to time, especially when they're sort of borderline like that last one. Not sure the hitter would want to hear that, though. First pitch of the at-bat. Now a big fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. Hey, either this hitter needs a cup of coffee, or he was sitting off speed right there. Outside for a ball, one and one. Urshela leads off second with one gone in the inning. 
Check swing. No swing, says the home plate umpire. Ball two. Two and two now. Working for the punch out and the offering. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. And that misses ball four. So with one out, that'll at least set up the double play possibility here that could get them out of the inning. And with first base open, the last thing he wanted to do was give him something to hit in the heart of the zone. So no harm done. Force out anywhere now. Striding in, Aaron Judge, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. First pitch coming, here it is. In there for strike one, 0 oh and 1. Awesome execution right there. Great pitcher's pitch and an excellent job to get ahead in a tough spot. The 0 oh 1. And here's a ball hit in the air. Chapman in foul ground. He hauls it in without any trouble. And there are two away. That is the first baseman. Luke Voigt. Ready now. Luke Voigt. Two's all over the place. Two on, two out. And of course, here in inning number two. First delivery to him on the way. Nope. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Two down runners at first and second. Lays off again and it's two and oh. Three and oh now. Well, two on, two outs, and he's got himself in a great hitter's count. He just has to be careful not to get too aggressive. A walk would be good here, too. And a good comeback there. It's three and one. Three and one with two on, and this is where you, you got to be geared up for something to drive. I don't think you can just groove him one right here. You still have to try to make a competitive pitch. The three and one pitch. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. And he misses with it for ball four. So the bases will be loaded now with two away. He could get the early hook if he can't be a little bit more precise here. That's walk number two of the Mike. inning, and we're only in the second. At the plate, Mike Tuckman, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. A ball of no strikes. Man, 35 pitches with only two outs in the second inning? Ideally, you'd like to have 30 or less after two innings, so he's got some catching up to do. Here's the 1 0. Smoke on the ground up the middle. And that is through into center field. A base hit. One run is scored. And he's safe. Hey, Dan, batter drives in two right there to give his team the lead. This looks like it's going to be a little bit back and forth. As a pitcher, how do you stop the bleeding? Now, the one thing you have to do is just concentrate all you can to try to get that first hitter out of each inning. This has the makings like this is going to be one of those seesaw affairs. And that sends D.J. LeMahieu into the box. The bouncer to the left side. Throw is in time, and they're able to avoid the huge inning here as the side is retired. So two runs on two hits, no errors, and two left. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. It's the Yankees two, and the A's one. Stepping up now, Matt Chapman. He's ready for his first at-bat of this early season contest. 
Chapman. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. Nope, not that. And that one misses here as he falls behind the Oakland third baseman. Two and one now. Sliced hard on the ground. And that finds its way through for a base hit. Boy, Dero, the game of baseball has changed. There's so much velocity in the game. That was a 96 mile an hour fastball that he smoked the other way. Yeah, you have to keep your front shoulder tucked right there. You have to honor. When a guy's throwing that hard, 96 miles an hour, you have to honor that fastball and try and work it the other way to keep you on the off speed. From the stretch. Weak grounder down the line at third. But this is foul for the first strike. A runner at first with no outs here. Smoke toward the hole. And that's through for a hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. You know, as a former infielder, Danny, they always say you can't be in two places at once, but you got to be a little frustrated right here that ball found the hole. Yeah, that's a tough thing. You make a quality pitch, and the guy shoots one through the right side, normally a vacated spot right there. Nine out of ten times, somebody's there to make that play. Unfortunately, not, and now we've got a couple of guys on. Ball one as he lays off below the zone. home what a great opportunity to come through right here 2-0 count runners on base find something middle of the plate and let it rip line toward the gap in left center and this is going to get down for extra bases as that'll get one if not both of them home in at second safely as a run comes across to score on the play tying the ball game and now time will be called here as you see the pitching coach making his way out to the mound to pay a quick visit stepping in now Austin Allen as the first pitch to him is a changeup that can't find the zone. It's ball one. It's not easy to continue pounding the strike zone when you've given up three consecutive hits, but he has to trust that getting the ball down in the zone will get him an out. The 1-0. Nope, inside, ball two. His pitch count is getting up there in the inning now. He needs to get this frame over with sooner than later, so... Forcing contact and getting the defense involved is probably the best thing he can do. Ready with the 2-0. Well, that's off the plate. Everyone in the ballpark knows what the pitcher's intentions are in this situation. Great job at the plate to lay off a tough pitch in a good spot. That one's in there, three and one. Yeah, I get it. They want to run this guy's pitch count up, but that was a pretty good pitch to hit. He might be kicking himself that he didn't swing at that one. The three one. Yeah, and he takes a good swing at that one as this is sent down the line in right, but ultimately into the crowd of foul ball. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And nearly a three-run shot. Instead, it's a foul ball. Another payoff pitch. Oh. 
And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Well, some might say a walk there is okay because you've got first base open. But he's been struggling out there. And if you're going to work around hitters, you don't want to work around hitters in the bottom of the lineup. So it's back to the top of the order now. And digging in now, Ramon Laureano. It'll be interesting to see if they use that changeup in this at bat. That last at bat, that was a changeup he hit for a home run. I'm going to see if this time they don't go to more fastballs and curveballs. And this is on the outside corner for strike one. So far this season, Laureano is hitting just over the benchmark 300 plateau. Source of pride for him, I'm sure. These are the stats the oppositions look at. Being great with runners in scoring position. He has certainly been that, and he's able to slow the moment down. Just way too patient in this situation. With the bases loaded like this, this is your chance to be the hero. And a swing and a miss on a huge first out there as he sets him down swinging with the bases loaded. Pretty textbook breaking ball for the punch out right there. Got it to bend a lot, and by the time it got there, it had fallen completely out of the zone. Not much you can do with that pitch. In now, Tony Kemp. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0 and 2. You know, he put himself in trouble right here, but he is finding a way to make pitches, and he's got a chance to get out of this thing. Here's the 0 and 2. Fouled off. O2 once more. Took something off there as this pitch is in the dirt, but handled quickly behind the plate. The 1 2. Lifted in the air to center. Gardner is there. Makes the catch, but the runner from third breaks for home. And the go-ahead run will score on the sacrifice fly as this is now a 3-2 to two ball game. Obviously, he's hoping for more up there with the bases loaded, but you can't be too upset with the sack fly. Now batting, Marcus Semyon. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Check to swing there and pops this one up. Urshela will put this one away and the side is retired. Some of our nation's young minds and future leaders here in attendance. Yikes. We're back with more on this Saturday night after this. Top of the third set to get underway. Ready for another chance. Torres. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. And a fastball's in there for strike one. Hit hard up the middle. And that'll get on through into center field, so he's got himself a leadoff single. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to get a glove on it. Hard single up the middle. Yeah, watch your lips right there, Dan. Sent it back right where it came from. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton. Strike one to start the at bat. Yeah. 
Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. And that changeup makes him jump. A swing and a miss. And now here's a ball hit pretty well out toward right center field. Piscotti moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for out number one. Now that the third baseman. Gio. So now it'll be the four hole hitter Gio Urshela. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Well he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A.B. maybe once a game maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Lined into left center and this is going to find the alley as he might have himself his second double of the ball game. And he is in there. Well, he was definitely struggling coming into this one, but I think we could say that cold streak is officially over. That's his second hit of the game, and it goes for extra bases. We'll see now if this game proves to be a huge turning point for him. So here's the veteran Brett Gardner as the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball 1-0. and 0 for 1 after he took a look at strike three in his first plate appearance. And a fastball runs a bit inside. He's down 2 and 0. Gardner is a very well regarded defensive outfielder. Used to be that fielders were evaluated mostly by the eyeball test and simple stats like fielding percentage. But of course, these days, there are many more advanced ways that help determine a guy's work in the field. And in his case, he shines in many ways. You know, Matty, for me, I think he does pass the eyeball test. I know you have to look at all the numbers and the analytics to really appreciate a ball player like this. But man, does he come to work every day to play hard. Tried to crush that ball and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. Lifted into center field. Loriano is there. Let's see if they test it. And both runners have to hold where they are, so call it a missed opportunity now with two gone now. Gary So two on with two away. And the next to bat, the Dominican-born catcher, Gary Sanchez. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. Third inning. Already a 3-2 ball game. 1-0 pitch is a curveball. That looked good from here, but it's 2-0. I'd be real surprised if he goes back out away there on the mound. This is a count for a fastball challenge, and we'll see if he's ready for it in the box. Got his 2-0 fastball, but he was way behind. 2-1. I think it's safe to say he wasn't ready for the fastball. Wow, was he behind that fastball. Great job on the mound using the curveball to set up the heater. And they could go either way now, I suppose. <laughs> the count now at two and two. Second and third, two away. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Ready with the payoff pitch. Pops this one up. 
In comes Piscotti. He can't get there as it falls in. And the tying run is in to score from third. It's a 3-3 game. Dan, you were one pitch away from getting out of this. Two outs, two strikes on the batter, and he's able to throw out a ribby knot. Dero, it's hard to get more frustrated than that as a pitcher. You're one pitch away from getting out of a lot of traffic on the bases, getting into the inning, and next thing you know, you give up a two-out, two-strike base hit. Nothing more frustrating for a pitcher than to have that happen. So look, now the pitch. Popped him up. Chapman is under it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. The Yankees forced to settle for one. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three, and we are all tied at three apiece. And we're back for the bottom of the third. Let's check in with Heidi Watney. Well, Matt, I talked to manager Bob Melvin during the break about his thoughts on the ace hitters to this point. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. They've been able to push across three runs to this point, but they've also made the opposition work extremely hard. He's thrown a lot of pitches, and they think they're going to have a good opportunity to push across a lot more runs as he tires or as they get into that bullpen. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Leading off for the A. That'll bring up the power hitter, Matt Olson. He drew a base on balls his first time up. And the pitch. Ball one. The 1-0. -oh is swung on and missed in that strike one guess who tipped their hand they were sitting all over a piece of cheese he flew open on the front side and a front foot curveball here that misses down and in for ball two you know what I'm seeing here is a reluctance to throw the fastball it's like he feels he can't throw the ball right by him right now now the two one High and deep down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. The 2-2. Two -two. Is up at the letters, but he gets the call. Strike three. I like how he worked him backwards for that strike out there. He wasn't showing the fastball early in the at-bat, but then went back-to-back -back once he had the hitter down in the count. So now it's Mark Canna. As he swings and misses at a first pitch fastball, 0 and 1. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's 1 and 1. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Bases are empty, one man out. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. And a full count for Cannon now. Three balls and two strikes. Matt Chapman is on deck. Now the three and two pitch is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the now line, but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two strike approach either. And that'll bring in Matt Chapman. As the first pitch to him is taken low and away for ball one. One for one after a single this first time up.
Now the 1 0. A swing and a miss. That's the first strike. Super important situation right here for the pitcher to go one, two, three. Get back in the dugout, regroup. He struggled early, but if he can knock out this one, two, three inning, I think he can right the ship. And this one's up around the eyes, two and one. Two out, nobody on. Two one pitches, a fastball right, swung on and missed two and two. Woo wee! That was some smoke right there. High fire right on by. Slapped hard the opposite way. That gets down and the inning continues. Kind of looked like he had gotten his bearings there. Dan was going to have a one, two, three inning, but not the case, giving up that late two out knock. Boy, this lineup is so deep, one through nine. They could put a hurting on you, and they're making him work, and he's given up a lot of base hits so far in this one. So far, this has not been an easy one for this pitcher. Chris Davis next to bat. He gets a shot to hit here in the inning following the two out single. Yeah, and that hit might not amount to much, but. Anytime you could extend an inning and give a guy with plenty of pop a chance to swing it, the outlook of an inning changes dramatically. Here's the first pitch to him. Fastball too high to start him out here, 1 0. We're only in the third inning, and his pitch count is above 60. That's not being too efficient with your pitches. The 1 0 home. 2 0. Davis is just shy of six feet at 5 11, a right handed batter and thrower. He's currently on a one year deal, so he stands to be a free agent at the end of this season. You know, Matty, I know he's in the final year of his contract, but he's playing to expectations, to be honest with you. I know he, need, he wants to turn it up a little. Oh, and he overshoots his first baseman as it's over his head. This could have been much worse for the first baseman here. He goes up for the throw, leaving his feet, and exposes himself to a potentially devastating collision. He's lucky he didn't get taken out right here. So it's second and third following the error. And standing in the outfielder, Stephen Piscotti. Looking to wiggle out of this. Here it is. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. And he jumps at a changeup, a swing and a miss. Runners at second and third with two gone. Ball and two strikes. Definitely a big pitch coming up right here. He's going to be pumped if he can work his way out of this inning with the game still tied. One and two. Here it is. Count still at one and two. Here comes the one and two. You know, I think he's having a hard time with that curveball right now, and that's part of the reason why he struggled early on in the start. It's so important to have command of those secondary pitches, or hitters just start sitting on the hard stuff. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. And the second run will score as well as they grab the lead here at 5-3. to three. With that base hit right there, d -Row, that's his third RBI now of the game. Better. More importantly, his team's oh, now good. ahead. Yeah, these are the special ones. He's had a great all approach all day. He's battled his tail off, and he's given his team single-handedly, almost given his team a chance to win this one.
at the plate, Austin Allen. As he'll take a look at ball one. Reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance. In the dirt here. And he'll just beat the throw to second. He's in there. And he'll make it into scoring position here with two away as that'll be scored a wild pitch. Two out here and a runner at second. Outside, 3-0 and oh now. You look in the dugout, you can tell that manager's getting ready to come out on that top step. If he doesn't get out of this situation right here, and it's a tough one, I think the bullpen comes in. The 3-0 pitch. Nope. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. What's the saying? Uh, when you find Number yourself 22. in a hole, the first thing you should do is stop digging. Well, the guy on the bump obviously hasn't heard that one. And that'll bring in Ramon Laureano. And after that quick walk, is it fair to wonder if this starter is beginning to show signs of getting tired? Yeah, that could be the case, Matty. Sometimes you just lose your focus, lose your command, but it'll be real important for him to get it back as this next hitter walks up to the plate. Hoping to limit the damage, here's the pitch. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. After the walk and with runners on the bags, he couldn't afford to fall behind here. Nice job of jumping ahead with strike one. Comes set with the 0-1. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0-2. Two, two mid-90s fastballs right there that he doesn't seem to think he can catch up to. I wouldn't be shocked if he came right at him again with another good one. It looked like the fastball got away from him there. If I'm in the box, you take a step out right here. Take a deep breath after that high fastball. you got to be leery of him burying something in the dirt. Swinging a ball line down in the left field corner. But no one gets to this one as it lands in the home bullpen. A foul ball. The one-two. A bouncer up the middle. Torres has it. Throw over to LeMayhew at second, and that'll do it. So two runs on two hits, one error, and two men left on base. On now to the top of inning number four. The A's lead this one 5-3. to three. Back at the Oakland Coliseum, and before we go much further, let's check in with Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. I talked with the Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. They've been able to push across three runs to this point, but they've also made the opposition work extremely hard. He's thrown a lot of pitches, and they think they're going to have a good opportunity to push across a lot more runs as he tires or as they get into that bullpen. All right. Thanks, Heidi. The first base. New inning set to get underway. Standing in, Luke Voigt. He drew a base on balls his first time up. Hey, we're still in the early stages of this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Pitcher wants to have a quick inning right here. Capitalize on the momentum his batters have. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. One ball, one strike. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Strike three on a pitch in the dirt. And the throw is there to record the first out. So striding forward now, Mike Talkman Mike. was able to plate two with a base hit in his first appearance. And the pitch. All one, no strike. The 1-0. Ball two. 
a, always a good idea to take a couple of pitches when you're facing a young arm like this one. And now he's put himself in a real good hitter's count. Three runs, five hits, and one error on the Yankee line score so far. Oh, they turned him loose on 2-0, and but he popped him up over toward the left side of the infield. And he'll put this away for the second out. That's exactly what they wanted out of that pitch up in the zone. They took him up the ladder, and he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop-out. Well-executed pitch there. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that'll bring up D.J. LeMayhew. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. 1-0. Hey, a two-out walk right here would be the tying run to the plate. Even though it's early on, you've got a guy on deck that has a lot of pop. The 1-0 is taken ball. for ball two. Down low, and the plot thickens here. Three and O. Oh. Torres would be next. Three runs, five hits, and one error on the Yankee line score so far. This is line to left. And he will reach up to make the catch. Oh, what a play that time as that ball had extra bases written all over it. But with that catch, the inning is over. Ben Heller answers the call from the pen here in the fourth as they didn't get the outing they were hoping for from their starter. Heller. Digging in, Tony Kemp. It was an RBI sack fly for him last time through. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Wind up and the 0 1. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. Lifted the other way down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. And he fouls this one off. Another 1 2 delivery. And it's fouled away. Four foul balls in this AB. Pitcher cannot find anywhere to go to put this guy away. Fouled away. I know the fans love the souvenirs, but the battle between the pitcher and batter right here is what makes the game great. Now another 2-2. Two -two. Fouled off. Into the windup. Here comes the 2-2 two -two pitch. And he fouls this one off. All even at two and two. Here it is. And it's fouled away. A swing, and this ball is blasted to right field. Nothing's going to keep this one in the ballpark. And it's gone as they add still another. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. First home run of the campaign for him, and it's now 6-3. to three. You're going to get one fastball right down the middle, probably once or twice a game, and you cannot miss it. And he did not miss it. He roasted that pitch. Now 
batter. Standing in now, Marcus Semien. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. The 1 0 home. No outs, nobody on. And a slider. Oh, got a favorable call on that one as that's the first out of the inning. Well, no preferential treatment there. Sometimes we see great hitters have their calls go their way on close pitches, but not this time. I think that was actually a good take, but on two strikes, anything that close can go either way. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Strike swinging, timing a little off on that one. The 1-1 one -one home. Misses for the second ball. Looks like this guy's afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. Gave up that home run earlier in the inning. Needs to get back to being aggressive. All even now, two and two. One out, nobody on. Fouled away. Here's another 2-2. Two -two. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Well, this pitching staff has done a pretty good job right there. That's the fourth time he struck out, and we're only in the second game of this series. Into the box now, Mark Canna. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Fastball, and he's quickly in the hole, 0 and 2. Pretty unusual that you see a 5 hole hitter take two strikes in a row. Typically, though. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. The A's add on to their lead with the solo home run. We played four as they've doubled up now. It's six to three. Digging in and looking for more. Torres. He'll start things out as we begin the fifth. Labor. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. Fastball well outside. Now the 2 1 pitch. Hit high and deep out to left. Looking up is Davis. Gone to lead off the inning. A solo shot here to left. First home run of the campaign for him. And they cut the gap here. It's now 6-4. to four. Yeah, everyone in the stadium, including the guy in the mound, knew it was just a matter of time until this guy cranked one out of here. Well, that's the first one of the year, and many more are sure to follow. 
So now to the plate, Giancarlo Stanton, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. No hits to this point. Now the 1-0. Nope. Talk about certain guys in a lineup that you want to be really careful with. This guy right here is one of those, and you can tell he's pitching awfully cautiously. Two well count the pitch. All over that one, but a little out in front. Foul ball. Bases are empty here, nobody out. Strike two is the fastball is let go. The way he's been able to command his fastball those first two pitches, don't be shocked if he goes back in there again or goes up under his chin or nasty slider down and away. He has opened up his full arsenal. Now Made a miss on the off-speed pitch that time. Giancarlo Stanton goes down for the first out in the fifth inning. Into the box, Gio Urshela. Hit the other way out toward right field. Piscotti's on the move. He gets there, and that's the second out. Now batting, the center fielder, Brett Gardner. So bases are empty here with two gone. And up next, the left-handed hitting Brett Gardner. First delivery to him on the way. Ball. Bases are empty here with two men out. Hey. A ball and a strike. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. Hasn't seen a heater yet in this at bat. One might be coming right here. Called strike that time, and it's even at two and two. Throws him for strike three, and that retires the side. The Yankees do get one on the solo homer. On to the bottom of the fifth. It's the A's six, and the Yankees four. So that brings up the always intense yeah, Matt Chapman. A couple of singles to his credit thus far. Chapman. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. High in the air out to center field. Gardner on the move. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first down of the inning. The left fielder, number two, Chris Davis. So the base is empty here with one away and that'll bring up the big time power bat of right handed hitter Chris Davis. Now here's the pitch. Whoa, Double barreled action in the Yankee bullpen now a lefty and a right hander start to get loose. Bases are empty one man out. Two and zero, the count to the A's left fielder. That one's in there on the black. Two and one. Here's the pitch. This is lined to left. Oh, and this deflects right off him. No mistake, what he was sitting on. Fastball, middle okay. of the plate, kept his hands the back, field. stayed through the baseball, and delivers a hard hit line drive. Outfielder Steven Piscotti, the next to hit. He singled and drove home two his last time. Yeah. 
ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Runners on first with one down. Outside for a ball, one and one. High fly ball out to straightaway center. After it is Gardner. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. The batter. The catcher. Austin. Allen. Into the box now. Austin Allen. It was a walk in his last trip. First pitch on its way. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. Fouled off. Two out with the man at first. And he fouls this one off. Swing and a ball in line down in the left field corner. But it drops foul down there in the home bullpen area. You know, taking you inside the mind of a batter right here, you can't get in auto swing mode. You still have to control the strike zone. The pitch, a fastball off his glove, and it bounds away. And that's going to move that runner into scoring position now. And this is why you can't lose focus for a second when you're behind the plate. Any mistake a catcher makes has serious consequences. This is a pass ball, and the runner moves into scoring position. Seventh pitch of the at bat coming up. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him, and the inning is over. One left for Oakland. They still lead it six to four. All set for the start of the inning. So coming to the plate, Gary Sanchez. He came through with an RBI single in his last at-bat. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. And they won't get him to chase the curveball in the dirt that time, and it's 2-0 now. This is a spot you really don't want to be in with a great hitter like that. You can't just lay one in there, but you also don't want to run the count to 3-0. and Gets a small piece near the plate, but it gets fouled. That's strike two on a well-placed changeup around the knees. And a good curveball gets him swinging for wrap number one. I think that curveball is a big reason why he's able to turn things around in this start Go after back. a rough beginning. Right it's got some good bite to it. So that tells me he's doing a nice job of snapping it off out front. Really finishing that pitch like you're supposed to. Here's big Aaron Judge. As he'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. 0 oh, for 2 for him to this point. Now the 1 0. Whoa. Hey, you want to talk about being in a zone? This guy's been raking lately, and it all starts with his pitch selection. Two great takes, and he's almost daring the pitcher just go ahead and challenge him. 3 and 0 now. I wouldn't be surprised if he had the green light here. Matter of fact, I know he's got the green light here. He's looking for something set or cut, and he's looking to do damage. There's ball four. 
and with the bases empty, you don't feel bad about walking that guy. He's capable of taking deep every time he digs in, so it's not the worst thing in the world to work around him if you can. Here comes Bob Melvin now out of the Oakland dugout, and it looks as though that's going to be all for his starter here tonight. So as he departs, he'll remain responsible for the man left aboard, but he cannot lose this one. Lou Trevino enters to make an appearance on the mound as he inherits a runner at first with one out in the inning. Number 62, Trevino. Luke Voigt will be the first to greet him here as he'll stand in with a runner at first and one away. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Ball one, no now a curveball to start him out, but an easy take. It's ball one. Swung on, but it's pulled foul wide of third. Trevino, 28 years old, he was selected in the 11th round back in the draft of 2013. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. The 1-1 home is swung on and missed for strike number two. I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. Oh, and there's the good curveball as he set down on strikes for the second time here tonight. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strikeout there. Yeah, man, that's the advantage of getting ahead in the count. You can really force hitters to expand their zone and protect. And when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. At the plate now, Mike Talkman. And he hits it hard to the right side. And it's through for a base hit, his second of the ball game. And that runner will go no further than second as there are now two back. aboard now. Second Don't He's sleep going. on the bottom of the order right there. He broke out all ambush tactics. First pitch fastball, middle end, and he's able to drive that for a nice swing. At the plate, DJ LeMayhew. And he'll watch one miss up and away for a ball, 1-0. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. The 1-0 is swung on and missed strike one. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. Hit out towards second. Reined in. Throw on to first, and the Yankee threat goes by the boards as the inning is over. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and two men left on. Top of the order due up in the home half of the sixth. The A's lead this one 6-4. to four. Bottom of the inning now. Now to the plate, Ramon Laureano. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Ball one is that one didn't really threaten the inside corner. That's inside. 2 0. Not even close with the 1 0. He needs to get back in the zone, but be careful. Work the quadrants. It's 2 and 1 to the A's leadoff batter. Nasty 2 0 slider right there for a strike. No shame in tipping your hat. He's fallen behind now, 3 and 1. Well, ball three, and listen, the Oakland A's right now would love to get this leadoff guy on any way they could. They would love a leadoff walk. Three and two to the A's center fielder. When you get yourself to a 3-1 count and you get a fastball, those are the ones you really want to punish. 
couldn't get the bat on it. So we'll see if that comes back to haunt it. And that one misses. So the leadoff man will head down to first on ball four to start the bottom of the sixth. Now back, second baseman, Tony. So a runner at first now with nobody out. And striding toward the plate to hit next, Tony Kemp. The last at that, Matty D. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off-speed pitches. The 0-1 pitch. Oh, that's out. That's a great call right there. Fastball away with a guy who's got some jets on first base. Almost like a hybrid pitch out. Great for a catcher if that guy's running. Easy transfer throw to second base. Now the one and one pitch is looked at for ball number two. Sometimes you got to be aggressive offensively, but sometimes you just let the pitcher dig his own grave. Patience and discipline seem to be the way to go right here. Unable to get the bat around in time, and the count evens at two and two. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off-speed pitch. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. Not a time to fool around right now on a three-two count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. Count is full. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Nice two-seam fastball there. You don't usually see a lot of swings and misses with that pitch unless it's really moving. So that one must have had some real good late life. In now, Marcus Semyon. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low. It's ball one. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. Not close. It's 2 and 0. Maybe a bit of an overthrow there, guys. May have let that front side open up a little early to try to pump up on a fastball and sailed on it. 2-0 count, the pitch. And this ball's pretty well struck. High and deep to left field. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. It's a two-run shot to straightaway left. First home run of the campaign for him. And they double him up. It's 8-4. Hey, in today's game of extreme velocity, if you have mediocre stuff, you cannot miss over the heart of the plate. You have to nibble at the You're corners. He wasn't able to do that, and he paid the ultimate price. Luis Sessa will come on out of the bullpen as he'll be appearing in his third game this season. Stepping in now, Matt Olson. As he'll take a look at a strike right down the middle, it's 0-1. Past meetings against Luis Sessa, he's hitless in three at-bats. On its way, the 0-1 pitch. That's not a bad pitch right there. That two-seamer moving away from a left-handed hitter. Didn't get the strike, but I like the idea behind the pitch. And here's a slider for a called strike, and he's behind one and two now. Whoa, to two balls and two strikes now. You know, he just doesn't have command of where he's throwing the ball right now. I mean, 
That pitch was supposed to be on the outside part of the plate. And when you miss by that much, something's off. Lifted down the line in left. And that gets down, and we'll see if that's extra bases. And he'll reach second now with one away. Man, that swing looked like self-defense than a real quality no, swing, but hey, he muscled it out there, and it was enough to get him yeah, safely no. the second. Those are the kind of hits that will drive you nuts as a pitcher. Into the box now, Mark Canna takes this the other way to right. Judge is back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. The throw is wild, and it gets away. Now batting, third baseman, Matt Chapman. Stepping up to the plate, Matt Chapman, runner in scoring position with two gone. From the stretch, here's the pitch. And that's high for a ball, 1-0. and oh. Looked like he just tried to do too much with that fastball right there. He, he overthrew it a little bit. That's pretty much the case when you airmail a fastball like that. 2-0 oh now. Has a look. Now the pitch. Outside. 3-0 and oh now. Chris Davis would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. It'll be interesting if he comes in the zone aggressively again here. With the base open, he doesn't have to. Here's the 3-1. And it's fouled away. High and deep down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. The next 3-2. Swing and a miss as the slider sets him down for the final out of the inning. But the athletic strike for two, both coming on this two-run home run. The two, three, four hitters now to start the seventh. It's the A's eight and the Yankees four. Leading off the inning, Torres, and they'll need him to get something going here. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Here's the first pitch to him. Oh and one here it comes. One ball, two strikes. Well, he kind of got caught chasing the first two pitches out of the strike zone. But I think he's caught on to their game a little bit right now. Two tough pitches that he took with two strikes. And now the count is two and two. And the pitch. Fouled away. Hey, if you're going to get a swing on a pitch that far in off the plate, pretty much options are wide open. The 2-2 two -two one more time. He's taken high above the zone. Don't go too far. The dangerous Giancarlo Stanton gets his shot next. Now the three and two pitch. Slow grounder to first. Scooped up and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Now batting. 
the designated hitter, Giancarlo Stanton. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Giancarlo Stanton. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Here comes the first pitch. Nope. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. Counts one and zero. Oh. The one zero -oh is laid off for ball two. One out, nobody on. Not very aggressive there as that's down the middle for strike one. Fastball and mm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. Gio Urshela will be next. Three balls and two strikes to the Yankees DH. And he lost him here on 3-2 as that pitch misses. It's ball four. Well, the reason power hitters generally draw more walks than other guys is exactly what we saw right there. Pitchers work around them and nibble the corners a lot more so they don't get burned. He made some good pitches, but he just couldn't get him to chase enough out of the zone. Next for New York, Gio Urshela. First pitch of the at bat on its way. That was a pretty good fastball after he walked the hitter previous. There was a little angry on that heater. And he falls behind 0 and 2. Nothing in two count and the pitch grounder down the line at third but a foul ball and the count holds it 0 and 2 got to take advantage of that pitch right there 0 2 breaker hanging over the heart of the plate not going to see too many of those today line to the right side and that'll get down for a base hit and that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Now, hey, this guy's obviously seeing the ball right now. That's another right. hard hit single. Three for four right there. He's looking super solid at the plate. Coming to the plate now, Brett Gardner. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ball game. Set and the pitch. The 0 1 pitch. One and two now as this catches the outer half. First and second now, one man out. Fouled off. The one two. Hit down the line at first. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. 
Hey, three foul balls in a row right here, searching for that put away stuff. Pulled toward right center field. Loriano will range to his left and put it away. Two down. Now batter, the catcher, Gary Sanchez. Digging in now, Gary Sanchez. And with men on base and two away, it feels like this at bat could go a long way toward deciding this thing. No doubt, Matt. A base hit here changes this game quite a bit. But if they can't score here, it looks pretty bleak for them heading into the last couple of innings. He's ready. Here's the first offering. A ball and no strikes. Oh, that's a tough call for Blue right there. Either way you call it, somebody doesn't like it. But hey, that's the life of an umpire. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2 0. Hey, time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. The 2 0 on the way. There's a fastball well off the plate inside. Aaron Judge would be next. And that pitch misses for ball four. So some intrigue now as the bases are loaded here with two away. I think he was trying to be a little too fine there and a walk is the result. Well, the good news is he has a force at every base. The bad news? A single probably drives in a couple of runs. Yusmero Petit answers the call to pitch here in a big spot. He inherits a bases loaded jam but needs just one out to get out of it. Aaron Judge will be the first one to greet him, and he'll bat in a big spot here. Bases loaded and two out in the inning. Looking to wiggle out of this, here it is. On the ground to the right side and through, a base hit. Oh, but it's offline, so the run will score. And the second runner will pull up stakes over at third, so one run is in and the bases stay loaded with two away. Sometimes you got to tip your cap. The pitcher spotted his pitch down the zone right there below the knee. Offensive player was all over it. To the plate now, Luke Voigt. As he'll get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Strike taken up in the zone. Two out, bases loaded. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Here's the 0-2. Hit sharply, but foul down the right side. Oh and two. Here it is. At the ball. Hey, if you're gonna throw a pitch like that to this guy, that's right where you want to miss. Any lower, and he'll probably make you pay for it. Got him. 
And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. Yankees forced to settle for one. We'll move on now to the bottom half of the seventh. Get up and stretch. The A's lead it eight to five. Here's Chris Davis now. So far, two for three in this one. The left fielder. First pitch of the at bat. Here's a slider that's inside one and zero. Oh. And some action out in the Yankee bullpen now as a right-hander starts to loosen up. Outside part of the plate, the changeup is in there. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. The two and one on its way. And it's two balls and two strikes now. That's just too much velocity upstairs to get good wood on it. It's going to have to lower his sights. Don't quite know where that one missed, but it's not for me to decide. Three and two. And just when you needed a shutdown inning, a leadoff walk was certainly not on the agenda. He needs a bear down right here. And that misses ball four. It's a leadoff walk to start the home seventh. And that's what you want from your leadoff hitter. Shows some great patience and discipline making the pitcher labor to start the game. The result is a leadoff walk and a chance to make some early noise. So digging in now, Stephen Piscotti. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And he takes a cold strike. 0 and 1. Good hard slider there, but it runs away. It's a ball and a strike. Nobody out, runner on first. Outside, two and one. Here's a big swing and a miss on the fastball, two and two. From the belt, kicks and deals. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. But it bends just foul into the second deck. Three balls and two strikes for Steven Piscotti. These last two guys are making him work quite a bit out there. Both have been long at bats, and all in all, he's had to make 13 throws just to them so far. Now the three and two pitch. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Tuckman will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. Now batting. Catcher. Austin. Allen. Stepping in. Austin Allen. He went down on strikes last time up. Yeah, Matty, big time K last time up, and it's been a tough series for him so far. You can tell he's just not seeing the ball off this team. Let's see if he can make an adjustment right here. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Left fielder is on the move, but he's not going to get this one. It's into the gap. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one out double. The good news for pitchers in this park is that it doesn't give up many home runs. A lot of room in the outfield. 
Sometimes that's the bad news as well, though, because there's a lot of space for hits to get down and to go for extra bases just like that. And it looks as though the decision makers in the dugout will give him a free pass to first, so the bases are loaded here on the intentional walk, and the force play is now in order. Yeah, well, when a guy's swinging the bat as well as he's been, this is a smart move. No reason to tempt fate out there. Now pitching for New York. So with a left-handed hitter waiting, they'll go to their own left-hander out of the bullpen. Tony Kemp will be the first to meet him here, and he'll do so in an enviable situation indeed. Bases loaded and only one out now. He's set. Here it comes. And he got him out in front that time. Strike one. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Bases are loaded with only one out. And the slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Hey, this is a monster strikeout situation right here. The double play would be great in this situation, but I know he's going for the K. You get a one-two count on a guy, he's going to throw his nastiest stuff. Working for the punch out and the offering. And this is swung on and missed a huge out there as the bases will stay loaded with two away now. Really good pitch right there. So you're moving the ball all around the strike zone. And then what do you do? You come in. That's a hard pitch for any hitter to do anything with. Just really makes it difficult to get that bad head out. So now to the plate, Marcus Simeon. And a slider gets away from him here as it just about got him in the ankle. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one-for-four day. The 1-0. 2-0. Nowhere to put anybody. 2-0 count, not a good spot to be in as a pitcher. Down low, and the plot thickens here. Three and O. Britton, a 32-year-old veteran, he was selected in the third round during the first-year player draft of 2006. Yeah, he has turned himself into a really nice ball player. I wouldn't put him on the superstar level, but you know what? They didn't miss with this pick either. You go into high rounds and you carve out a career the way this guy has. Nice pick. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. This is the cat and mouse of today's game. 3-1 almost definitely bought you that fastball, and he took it. Interested to see if this pitcher goes to that well again, fear of bases being loaded, or he's willing to break something off. Oh, and it misses ball four, and that will force home a run. Man, when you're trailing, you hate to give up any runs, but walking one in is especially painful. Now the lead is extended, and a base hit could blow the lid right off this thing. So here's the Oakland cleanup batter, Matt Olson. He's working on a one for three thus far. From the stretch. Bases are loaded here, two down. Not cheated on that swing, but the splitters by him 0-2. He put himself in a good position, jumping ahead 0-2 with the bases loaded. Now we'll see if he can finish it off. Britain's ready. Here comes the pitch. Nope, that's the ball. Tried to work it back to that low inside yep, corner, but it misses one and two. Uh, 
Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say, his third punch out of the game. A's have to settle for just the one. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. Oakland is on top in this one, nine to five. Your Liam Hendricks please. has been summoned from now the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 16, Liam Hendricks. Now at the plate, Mike Talkman. He singled his last time up. The left fielder, Mike Talkman. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Swing and a miss on the slider, nothing in one. Looks like a right hander's gotten up to throw now in the Oakland pen. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Now the one and one pitch. That's the exact spot to lean on as a reliever. As a hitter, you just have to tip your cap and look for the next one. The one two. Curveball got him swinging for the first out. Yeah, as they say, there's a hole in his swing in that location. So a good job there of now exploiting that. That, that can be real hard for some guys to yeah. overcome when teams well, start figuring out what locations you just can't handle. At the plate now, DJ LeMayhew as the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. Struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. Line drive to left. Davis is going to get there as he backs up to put it away. And there are now two Patrick. gone now. Labor Torres. Ready once again. Torres. And they're down to their final four outs here, Dan. Yeah, and it's not looking too good for them right now, Matt. They've got a significant hill to climb, but they've got to take it one bat at a time. A couple of guys get on, and then who knows what could happen. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. The 1 0 home is in there for strike one. One one. One and two now. Two out, nobody on. Hit the other way out toward right field. Piscotti is under this one as he tucks this one away to retire the side. One, two, three, go the bombers. They could use a good cup of ambition. It's nine to five. Adam Ottavino will come on and make now his fourth appearance in this campaign. Number zero, Adam Ottavino. Next will be the designated hitter, Mark Canna. Hit the ball pretty well in his last at bat, but it resulted in a line out. 
Yeah, he hit it hard. That's yeah, all you no. can ask. You can't control the results sometimes, Matty. Just unlucky with the placement. Oh, had him chopping at that oh, one. Yeah. It's nothing in one. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-World, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. Way outside. One and two. And the pitch. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. It's been a rough night at the yard for him. That's three times he's gone down on strikes now in this one. So they've the really baseman. figured out how to attack this guy. Chapman. Into the box, Matt Chapman as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1-0. Two hits in four attempts to this point. The 1-0 home. And this is going to find the crowd down the left field line. It's a ball and a strike. One one he is high and outside for a ball action in the bullpen now as a right hander begins to throw out there. Hey. Two and two. Hey, it looks like this guy's going to work in the upper part of the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can adjust to the way he pitches. Bases are empty, one man out. Here's one that misses inside, and the counts run full now. Three and two. Chris Davis waits on deck. And he fouls this one off. The next three two and a fastball misses their ball four. The left fielder number two. Chris. So striding in Chris Davis he's two for three and looking for more here. From the belt kicks and deals. Ball and he takes ball one. Runner at first here, one man out. Eight. Now a bit of a hanger, but it's laid off and called a strike. And it's one and two. Great pitch in that situation. If he makes contact on that one, more than likely he's hitting into a double play. Neither guy willing to give in and the at battle continue. The one two.
Runners on first with one down. Fly ball out toward left center field. After it is Gardner. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Up next for Oakland. The right fielder. Steven. Piscotti. So that'll bring up Steven Piscotti. He's doubled and singled in four at bats in this contest. First pitch on its way. And the slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. And here's a pitch inside, and that got him. Well, no one really likes getting plunked by a pitch, but as long as it doesn't do too much damage, most guys will take it any day. A free pass can be a big deal if the guys behind you can make it hurt for the pitcher. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Austin Allen, he's one for two in this one. Looking to wiggle out of this. Here it is. One and one. Now the one and one pitch. Is a fastball that misses. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. And he comes back with a pitch right down the middle for strike two. Here now the 2 2. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. Here now the 2 2. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. A's strand a couple as they can't add to their 9 5 lead. Set to start the ninth in this one. Now at the plate, Giancarlo Stanton. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Ninth inning begins as the first pitch is taken for ball one. The 1-0. Finds the zone, strike one. Pitch on the way. That's three straight sliders in a row. I'd be shocked. I would be shocked if he went to that well a fourth time. I'd be looking heated. The one two he is swung on and missed. He got him. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Gio Urshela. It was a single for him in his last at bat. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. One on its way. Now a swing and a fly ball. And no one will track it down. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. It's 
sent on the ground out to second. Fielded cleanly on to first in time, and the Yankees are down to their final out now. The center fielder, number 11, Brett Gardner. Striding into the box, Brett Gardner. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. First delivery to him on the way. And that's taken high and outside for ball one. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Nope, Hit the target, but this is low. Two and one. This will be a called strike two and trouble now as they're down to their final strike tonight. Last chance for the Yankees. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. And that one is gone on a two strike count with two away in the inning. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. Second home run early in the year. And just like that, it's down to a three-run ball game. Boy, when this guy gets in a groove, he can hit him. And when he hits him, he hits him in bunches. Hit a home run in last night's game. And if they continue to pitch him on the outer part of the plate, look out. This guy's going to do some major damage. Jake Deepman comes out of the bullpen to shut things down here in the ninth. Number 35. Now that is the catcher. Gary. In now, Gary Sanchez. As he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. Boy, that fastball is just sizzling up there. One and one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Sinker misses that time and it's two and one. A little early and now it's even at two and two. And now a crowd reported at over 28,000 rise to their feet. And right into the shift. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. Two out, nobody on. Yankees, good night. It's always nice to give your fans at home something to cheer about, and they definitely did that right here, coming through with a big win at home. Nine to six, the final tally in this one. The Oakland A's led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Jesus Lozardo gets the win on the mound his first of the year. Jonathan Loisega worked only three innings in the losing effort. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show.